Welcome to this week's Grizzly Spotlight brought to you by ATI Physical Therapy. I'm TJ Weber from the Gateway Grizzlies Media Network. Joining me this week is Ken Oberkfeld, the new hitting coach for the Gateway Grizzlies and also a former Cardinal and 1982 world champion. Ken, thanks for joining us today. We appreciate it. Thanks for having me. So I guess the first question I have is, you know, when you got this gig, how happy were you to come back to St. Louis now? You've been living here for your whole life. How do you feel coming back here to your hometown and uh, being able to get a good job that you want? Well, this this was probably the only job I would have taken. You know, I, I took a year off. I actually got bored last year by not doing <laughs> sure. nothing. So. I talked with Rich, Sojay, and uh, said if they had anything available, part-time, full-time, whatever they had available, and he talked with Phil, and they were happy to get me on board, and um, it's, it's, it's going to be fun. I mean, for me, it's, you know, I've done a lot of managing around, around the country, but to actually just be a coach, laid back, a, a laid back atmosphere and be at home is nice. Now you've had a lot of experience coaching wise, obviously as a player with the Cardinals. Uh, you've been with the Mets organization before, you've been with a couple other leagues in the, in the U.S. Tell me a little bit about your managerial experience so far and also as a hitting coach uh, in your career. Well, I've never been a coach anywhere except mm -hmm. here. Well, at the major league level with the Mets, right. I coached uh, first base and I was a bench coach for them. But uh, other than that, in the minor leagues, I was always a manager. Mm -hmm. Uh, but you're you're not just managing in the minor leagues. You're managing, you're coaching, you're teaching, sure. you're, you're doing a little bit of everything. And uh, once I retired from playing in '92, I took a couple years off and worked on my handicap and uh, got it down pretty good. <laughs> and I was told I needed to get back to work and do some work, so I got back into to uh, you know into the game by managing. I mean, Lee Thomas with the Phillies at the time was a GM and they had an opening in A-ball and he asked if I'm interested in managing. I said, absolutely. <laughs> and that's where my t career took off. And I, I spent most of my career, you know, in uh, managing in the Mets organization. I was with the Mets for 12 years and all the way from A-ball to, to AAA mm -hmm. as a manager and then the, and a coach in the big leagues. So, you know, it's something I've always done. I mean, I, I knew when at the end of my career that I would want to get into coaching and managing or something because, you know, at the end of my career when I was more utility guy, yeah. I would sit there and watch the manager and I'd be going, well, what would I do in this situation? What kind of moves? So that's what I wanted to do. And uh, fortunately, I had that opportunity and it all worked out well. Now, you had a lot of opportunities to, to I guess, experience success with the 1982 Cardinals. Tell me about that feeling when you got that last out, just the, the feeling that you were a world champion, and, and tell me about some of your teammates that you got to experience well, that with. The, the thing about that 82 team, we were we were close mm -hmm. as a team. I mean, we were, when we were on road trips, if we were going to dinner, it'd be nine or ten guys, not one or two. I mean, we, we were a close group, and uh, we had great chemistry. We uh, Execution was great because if it wasn't, Whitey would kill killed us. <laughs> but, uh, you know, so we... Uh, we never really get in, got into a trap where we'd have a big losing streak. Mm -hmm. And we just were very consistent, played the game the right way. And, and for me, growing up in, you know, Maryville, Illinois, which, you know, Cardinals were my hometown team. Sure. So, uh, 82 to, you know, it's so vivid in my mind that watching Bruce Suter throw strike three past Gorman Thomas for us to win the world championship, it was, uh, you know, it was the ultimate for me. Well, Ken, we appreciate your time, all your insight about uh, the new job and also your time with the Cardinals. Before we let you go, I want to do some rapid-fire questions. You ready for it? Rapid-fire. All yeah. right, here we go. Let's do it. Start the music. All right. Favorite baseball player of all time? Ken Boyer. Favorite teammate at the professional level? Uh, Dale Murphy. Favorite MLB baseball stadium you ever played in? Uh, Wrigley Field. Favorite sport to watch besides baseball? Hockey, love it. Favorite it's almost blues. Oh yeah. Favorite ice cream? Yeah, vanilla. And favorite TV show of all time? All time? Yeah. Oh, favorite TV show of all time is Everybody Loves Raymond. There you go. Everybody loves Raymond. There you go. It's Ken Oberfell, former Cardinal and now Grizzlies hitting coach. Ken, thank you so much for your time. We'll thank see you down the road. TJ. Thank you. That's this week's Grizzlies ATI Physical Therapy Spotlight. I'm TJ Weber. Sing so long. See you next time.